If you were having a bad day, it's about to get worse. Because unfortunately, the LEGO group has decided to do something too. And that is Despicable Me for LEGO sets. And we thought it was only an April Fool's joke, all of this. And it turns out, this is actually real. So I'm just like, bro, look at this Gru, okay? So here is a new buildable Gru, including four minions. And I'm just like, guys, can you see this? Like, Wait, and this is coming from Despicable Me fan. You are a big fan. I'm a big fan of the original, the first one. Gru's a great character. No, yeah, and Gru's yeah. a gr great and funny character, especially in the first movie. The first movie's the best, obviously. The rest are kind of money, churning birds. But, like, bro, just just, just take a look at this Gru. It really... I don't know if it's just me when I look at something gross and disgusting. I get a gross feeling inside. But it doesn't make you feel good. But let's say something good about the set is that the minions do look really perfectly done. Okay, let's just say that. Granted, they have stickers for mouths, so you better not screw up those stickers or your entire mouth is going to be messed up. It does include references like the Bebo Bebo Siren, the Fruit Hat, Galele. Those are nice, cute little references. And it looks like there's probably a gear system where they spin around and dance. But And guys, why did they make his eyes like this, most importantly? The eyes on this are the, the biggest red flag ever. And I immediately thought of one of the best games of all time, Spore. If you haven't played it, I recommend giving it a shot because it is amazing and it's very creative, kind of like Lego, but for creatures and for ships and everything virtually. These eyes are straight out of the Spore creature creator. Am I wrong? Just I mean... look, at this, look at this eye. Like <laughs> they really, I don't know what the, why the choice was to try to make Gru look stoned and try to make him look like squinting or having increased wrinkles above and below his eyes but it it doesn't like i wonder if they could have done a more chibi and cute approach like just something to save us from this anything yeah it's almost and, and the, the mixture of the print on the light flesh tone which is just should not really be used for, for things like dobby also looks very cursed because like light flesh tone humanoid things it's so uncanny valley how much does it cost to get the uncanny Gru figure it's actually a pretty good price to piece ratio. We got fifty five dollars for eight hundred and thirty nine pieces. So, you know, what? as far as your pieces per money, it's really good as far as like if you should be paying anything for this. I really want to know if anyone likes this. Please mention it if you actually think this is somewhat redeemable. The next set we are receiving is called Gru's House. But let's talk about price and piece because you just mentioned the previous set was eight hundred pieces. This set is also eight hundred pieces, eight hundred and sixty eight pieces. But for a hundred dollars almost oh. twice the price for the same amount of pieces i have to be joking me right now granted this set does have more figures but is it just me or does this set not look like a 100 dollar set it does not look like a hundred dollar set yes. looking at the house it, lo it looks like it's lacking detail is that do you agree with me or no like just looking at the house portion it doesn't strike me as Gru's house from the movie no it's definitely way simplified down just to like the single triangular shape the actual house you have a few more windows on the second side it's asymmetrical so it's not just this perfectly symmetrical thing it kind of has a little bit of a wonky a wonky nature to it Wait, if you saw this and didn't know it was a despicable me set would you recognize that as Gru's house not actually no not necessarily I don't, based on this picture with the open door, there's nothing in the back. That has to be, I mean, surely there's stuff in the house. I mean, Fashadi. I don't know, but there is a little sort of jungle playground area that comes with the classic Stuart, Bob, Kevin, in quirkier variations, probably under the effect of some sort of power-ups. Dr. Nefario figure is not included. Looks like just the three girls grew the wife yeah they're having a baby granted this is the only image we have and it's so low quality we can barely see anything but Gru looks pretty abysmal i'm sorry his defining feature is his nose which they did get right in the buildable version they didn't get the eyes right but now they get the rest of him right and they're missing the nose so it's like it's just hard when you're getting such exaggerated characters like that to do it in a minifig form. This, should this have not just been a molded head with the nose like Pinocchio? Like, I don't know. So the, really the main thing that's screaming Despicable Me is the minions in these two, both of these sets. But here's a closer look of the wife and the baby. The baby's just a mini baby with pale skin and a gray suit. But yeah, this looks like a little bit shoddy. Sorry the Lego group and sorry Despicable Me fans, but these Despicable Me 4 sets are nightmarish which is too bad because we are of the age now where the original despicable me is nostalgic it came out like what 15 years ago so for us it's like oh the original despicable me is so cool the house cool if you have a buildable house it's like a decent build vector grew dr nefario 
and you have like the original movie cast with the girls and everything and the house that and you make that more a little bit more of a collector's version you could still have it be playable but a little more collector's version you have Gru's silver car and everything that would be so much more desirable i think for more people whereas now the collector's thing is the dancing creepy Gru, and then you have the playset for the new movie which no one's nostalgic for yet so yeah the collector set is the buildable grew and minions nobody wants that on their desk at their office you, you're the biggest despicable me fan sure but if you have a coworker come walk in your office they're gonna be like oh what's that ha ah! and be jump scared <laughs> and like spill their drink or something because yeah it's just uncanny guys could we please collectively get it together as a group and try to not make uncanny valley lego sets